Hey guys, so this is my first tutorial on how to set up ATV Flash for your Apple TV. Now, just a reminder, this will not work on the new Apple TV and only for the late 2010s, or sorry, early 2010 Apple TVs and anything before that. So, what you want to do is actually purchase ATV Flash because it is a paid application and then download it to your computer. Now this is for the Mac version, um, if you go to the website they do have a tutorial how to set up on the PC. So what you want to do is drag the ATV flash icon into your applications folder and just sort of let that run. And then go into your applications and just look for it, once it's sort of copied um, to your you know, hard drive, double click on that and let it boot up. Now just click open from here and that will sort of open ATV flash application. Now from there what you want to do is just says thank you for purchasing ATV Flash, just go hit OK. And then what you want to do is just agree to the license agreement, um, you know, if you wish to read it, read it. Um, now from here you want to insert your USB which is more than 256 megabytes and just find it. Now mine was called Untitled Disk 3 so you want to know which one you're actually finding. Just choose that and then just hit start. And you just want to make sure that everything on that USB will be erased and partitioned um, as a Mac uh, OS, I believe, and with, you know, the ATV flash on there. So what you want to do from here is make sure all the recommended is all ticked. Now you do have the option to, you know, choose other. Uh, I went ahead and did that because I prefer having Boxy and some uh, the movie database on there. So what you want to do from here now, if if you don't have the Apple TV update file on your computer you want to hit download file and that will do everything for you but for me for instance I've already updated I already have the Apple TV update file on my computer so I'm just going to hit locate file now from there I'll just go to downloads and then latest um, DMG if you do this so now if you were if you were going through the download process um, it will download and then come back to this process where it starts partitioning the USB now this process probably takes five to ten minutes so just let that run um, you know go make yourself a cup of tea or something and come back now from there once all the files have been copied to the USB and partition you will get this eject sign um, pop up now we'll see this any minute now and all you have to um, do is hit eject and that means it's successfully installed uh, just hit OK and just go to finder just make sure it's sort of ejected and then uh, just pull out the USB after that. So what you want to do after this is get your Apple TV and power it down and the only way to power it down is actually physically pull out the power um, cord from the back so do that and then get your USB which you installed ATV flash on and insert that into Apple TV or into, into the Apple TV box and then once you do that just hit the power again and let that boot up. So as you see here, this will be the first symbol you get, um, meaning that ATV flash is actually on the USB and sort of initializing the process. And this will take again five to ten minutes to, to to go through this whole process of installing ATV flash on your Apple TV. Now it will it will go through a process of booting up, shutting down, and etc. So don't worry, um, it will be okay. Now after you see a couple of Apple flashes right there we should have ATV flash successfully installed there we go So once booted up into Apple TV, um, obviously you got your standard movies, TV shows, music, podcasts, photos, and the internet. Now, as you see here, we got some extras, which is media, browser, Neato TV, and the XBMC and Boxy. Let's jump into maintenance, and as you can see, we got some extra plugins here. And what you want to do later is install ATV Files Beta. 
in your own time um, but that's the number one thing you want to do before you actually get into um, watching movies on your Apple TV. Now it takes about approximately maybe half an hour to install all the uh, plugins but um, you know inst- like you got to download them and install them etc. So what you want to do now is go to install extras and watch uh, trying to find it here We've got some more plugins not here actually go into settings and what you want to do is install Nido Smart Installer this will enable you to plug in a USB hard drive in the back of your Apple TV and then use that as a you know media source to play all your media files and etc so obviously there's a lot of plugins you, which you can do for your Apple TV um, so spend time messing around with that and um, have fun so I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask me Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.